1. What are expressions used in pages to bind in controllers? Answer. Using methods we can bind. Getter will return value from controller to VF page setter. Will pass value from VF page to controller action. Will redirect to another page. Question 2. What is the purpose of controllers? Answer. Controllers provide the data and actions that are available to a visual force page. Question 3. Which objects have associated standard controllers? Answer. All standard and custom objects that can be accessed via the API have associated controllers. Question 4. What is included with each standard controller? Answer. Data. The fields for the associated object record that are API accessible, including the related records, 5 up, 1 down, actions, save, delete, view, edit, cancel. Question 5. When do you need to go beyond a standard controller and code custom Apex? Answer. If you need data beyond the limits of what is available in the standard controller or actions that go beyond the provided standard actions. Question 6. Compare and contrast custom controllers and controller extensions. How are they the same? How are they different? Answer. Both allow for custom code to be used, allowing for custom data sets and custom actions. Extensions leverage the existing data and actions within a standard or custom controller. Custom controllers must contain all data and actions that need to be executed by the page. Extensions that extend standard controller allow for the pages which use those extensions to be used in custom buttons, standard button overrides, and over declarative features. Question 7. What identifies a controller as being an extension? Answer. The controller must declare a constructor which takes another controller explicitly. Question 8. Why are properties helpful in controllers? Answer. Properties can automatically create standard getters and setters while still allowing for their customizations. They save you from both writing the tedious code and reading the clutter when reviewing code. Question 9. In what order do methods fire within a controller? Answer. The only rule is that setters fire before action methods. Aside from that, there is no guaranteed order. Question 10. What are some Apex classes that are commonly used within controllers? Answer. Standard controller, select option, page reference, message, etc. Question 11. How are wizard controllers different from other controllers? Answer. The two main issues is that they must handle multiple pages and they must maintain the state across those pages. Question 12. What are the effects of using the transient keyword? Answer. The transient keyword prevents the data from being saved into the view state. This should be used for very temporary variables. Question 13. When is a component controller required for custom components? Answer. A component controller is required when business logic is required to decide how to render the component. Question 14. What kind of content can be included in a visual force page? Answer. Any content that can be rendered in a browser, HTML, JavaScript, etc. Question 15. What do expressions refer to when used in visual force components? Answer. Expressions refer to either data or actions that are made available to the page from the controller.